everyone, this is Honeywell and I'm playing pa Planet Base today. Um, I've pretty much finished the game, but I read about a challenge on the Planet Base forums where you play as usual except for you're required to keep the colony ship. And I thought that would be a fun challenge and I played around with it for a little bit. And I liked it. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're on the last planet, the hardest planet, where we already start out with limited resources. And we're going to make that even harder by not recycling the colony ship. We'll see how that goes. We only get two workers, a biologist, an engineer, and a carry bot. And you definitely feel it. You feel the lack. Okay, I guess, yeah, this isn't bad at all. One of the reasons why I'm pretty much done with the game is it really doesn't have a lot of replay value for me. Um, because there's no planning mode or a pause, so all of my buildings it's not really fun for me to build. Nothing ever turns out quite the way that I want, how I would put it together if I had my exact way. Everything's always a little crooked. Um, so yeah. So while I liked the, I liked the challenge of the game, well I was learning to play it, but Beyond that, I think it has a little uh, limited appeal to me. But that's okay. I've, I really, I enjoyed the game, and I've more than got my money's worth out of it. I think I've played it for I don't know fifty or sixty hours, something insane like that. These are all the materials that we have to work with. Um, even though I'm very familiar with the game and I know exactly what do I want? I think I do. Let's go this way. Um, even though I'm I'm very familiar with the game, because of this gimp start that we're going to be having here. Um, you'll see uh, food issues, power outage issues, um, people are going to have broken bones and not be healed. Uh, it's going to be exciting times. Usually I would always build the absolutely the largest water collector, power collector, um, solar panel, the largest utilities that I could, and then skimp on the rest of the buildings. Uh, but that's not possible with the limited around, amount of resources that we have. Okay, and as soon as that oxygen tanks up, we're going to get our canteen built. Again, the smallest size. And usually I would continue building. I'd want to dorm and get the mines and those sorts of things up and running. But because we only have one engineer, they prioritize the external structures. And there's not going to be that sec second engineer or a constructor bot going around um, and building other things like the all-important drinking fountain. So we really need to stop building here until, until we get the canteen open and a drinking fountain installed. So these guys are just going to be uh, sitting around with nothing to do. 
and Daria Briggs is the all-important lone engineer. I'm also recording this game on version uh, 1.05. It's being updated all of the time. I shouldn't say updated, it's being fixed with patches constantly. So. So the version might matter. I really miss the days when uh, games were expected to be finished before you bought them. Not that the game, the game is completely uh, playable, but the sheer number of patches is, is a bit much, I think. And they're changing the way the, um, for good or for bad, they're changing the way the game works as they go along. And I, I really don't like that. Okay, our drinking fountain's up, and now the only other thing that we can really expect to get done today is... Our dorm. Again, the smallest that we can, uh, it's all we can afford. Do I want this over here? Well, we're out in the middle of nowhere, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, and they're going to go eat in the hallways. Uh, I put in the table on the off chance that would get built. Um, they're perfectly willing to eat on the floor, but it does uh, decrease their morale a bit. You can see that dropping. But we're really not going to have a problem with, her, with morale in the early game until maybe people start dying. <laughs> then it might be a problem. Uh, just providing them with uh, good food pretty much takes care of their morale needs. Good food and as long as they don't have to walk too far. They're happy enough. And again, I'm not uh, building the other two buildings that I can. The only thing that left that I can build is a biodome, a processing plant, and a mine. That's all I'm going to have the materials for. But again, I'm not building those because we only have the one engineer. And he's not going to build any interior interior uh, objects like the bunk beds if there's an exterior building up and ready to be built so that way no one can go to sleep and when your tire uh, colonists are tired they move slower which I do not want so uh, we're we're taking it nice and slow in no rush here When I started this out, I started with the idea that I would just build a landing pad 
right off the bat and trade and get some colonists. But I quickly found out that anything in the colony ship can't be traded. So the only thing that we have of value is our spares and medical supplies and they're in the colony ship right now. So even if I had a landing pad up right now and a 35% commission trader came along with a ship full of metal, I have absolutely nothing that I could trade for it. So between that and the unreliable, how unreliable it is, if we have a, a string of bad luck, um, it's pretty much game over. Because we have a ticking, uh, ticking clock here in regard to our spares. We need to have the metal to get a factory up and producing spares. So we can't really wait indefinitely on a good trader or for our bioplastic to accumulate because that's pretty much the only thing that we would be producing is food and bioplastic. And we, so we really can't wait for that. Okay, I think this is as good a place to end the episode as any. Um, I hope you'll come back for episode two, and thank you for watching.